Hello again, Lani. We are keeping you busy today. You sure are. Uh, so we've got you here now to talk about immune systems and how we can boost them coming into winter. You've already given me something to drink, which tastes delicious, by the way. It's peppermint oil to help soothe the throat. Mm, and it's doing the trick. Yeah. Other things to do the trick. Sorry, Mike. Yeah, you... Well, I was going to say she needs it at the moment because I think it's that time of year everyone's starting to come down with something. So this is the perfect time for us all to learn. I, I really need to learn as well. <laughs> so we're soothing the throat and you've got a whole lot of vegetables there. What have you got? Well, maybe Mark can make up some broccoli soup. Because broccoli has an a ingredient in it called sulforaphane. So, and you've got the apples and your citrus fruit. All those things are very, very good for immunity. Or you can really up your nutrition by having goji berries. I've yeah. given you a handful. Yeah, no, as you can see, I'm just about <laughs> eating them all. Um, nice, aren't they? But they're really nice. So what do these help with? Well, they boost your immune system with nutrition because you need nutrition to overcome the colds and the flus and the viruses. Right, so it's a great snack to have in your bag, what isn't about, it? Can I just say, what's awesome. that green stuff you've got down oh, the side this. there? This is garlic, chives, and oh. I just chop some up finely and add it to my omelette every morning and Ooh. voila, it's so easy because garlic does kill the bacteria. It's very antiseptic as well. Don't eat that now, right now, either, because I have to sit beside you for the rest of the show <laughs> and you're going to smell like garlic. And what on earth is this that this, you've This in? is olive leaf and you can actually boil it up and drink it as a juice because this is the only thing that I know that kills viruses and it's viruses that make colds and flus. So if we can raise our immune system and kill the bugs with some natural mm. antibiotics, that's the way to go. I've had this in a tonic form before and it tastes absolutely disgusting. That's the oleuropine. It's, it's a bitter constituent, so it should taste really bitter. Yep. Just take it in a capsule, way easier. Oh. Or, yeah, add, or add honey to your tonic. <laughs> and now, if you've got some Vicks Vapor Rub in the cabinet somewhere, this is a much easier way. You know when you're really full of congestion, mm. you don't need to get into the sink and put a towel over and all that kerfuffle. Mum used to do that when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> all you do is just put it in your cup of hot water. I'm going to add that to your mm -hmm. peppermint. I'm not going to drink this, am I? No, but no. Um, what you do is you keep the volatile oils in, cup your hand and breathe. Close your eyes because those vapours will get into your eyes, but can you feel it just clearing your throat and your sinuses? The easy way to go. So at the oh. moment I'm a little bit chesty Would with you like mucus. some of my Vicks? You need some. Is that, is, Have what, a sniff of my Is that going to help my chest, is it? It is. The vapours go down, the little hairs in your lungs kick up the mucus and help you to breathe, oh, open nice. the airways. Well, that's good, I'll actually. take that back. I Thanks so much. <laughs> it's been enlightening. Thanks, Lani. You're yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Perfect timing, too. I'm going to get up my broccoli and I'm going to get all these ingredients and get over my cold. Thank you so much. I'll leave much. this here for you. Oh, great. Thank you so much.